So um, have these have this mark out yours real quick, the four numbers there, and this number right here. If, when you get to this problem and you're doing it, if you do not do T accounts, there's no way that you can finish this one and get it right. Almost guaranteed. If you try to do this one, just if you try to go down to the answers down here and just start typing in the, the journal entries and the amounts, I, I don't know how you can do it without um, having an updated T account going at all times. So that's what, that's what you need to do to start out. The only one thing to notice is the years. A lot of times in finance, for financial accounting, they put the most current year first and then prior years on back. It's kind of opposite of how you may used to be looking at things in sequential order. So it tells us we have accounts receivable at the end of last year, which is the same as the beginning of this year. Accounts receivable of 85.15. And also at the beginning of this year, or the end of last year, we have unearned revenue. And then it tells us at the end of this year, so I want you to draw quite a bit of space here because we're going to have different amounts coming in. At the end of the year, we have an account receivable balance of 13610 and unearned revenue. 17310. Notice what it says here unearned revenue, unearned service revenue arise from the sale of gift certificates. This is a, a, a billiards club. So people, this much has, has paid their money, but they haven't gotten the use of the service yet. They haven't actually went in and, and played the pool. The, the last number that we need to have to start everything, it says during 2015, we had total revenue of 164000 some. Leave a lot of space. Remember, that's our total revenue. That's not a journal entry, so I got to put that here in the total column. We haven't done any journal entries. This was our opening from last year, the ending of last year. This was also our opening. And then the rest of these, of course, are totals. The first two aren't too bad, difficulty-wise. It's when we get down to 3B and 4 that it becomes quite a bit more difficult. Number one says that the accounts receivable were all collected from last year. Okay, so if the accounts receivable were all collected, Diego, what did the company get? Okay, so what do we call that? What did they get? What what account am I going to debit? Um, debit the, is it receivable? Debit this account here? Mm. No, we don't. They don't owe us more money. They owe us less money because they paid us. So you would credit that eighty-five 
I credit that. Well, what am I going to debit? What did the company get? They get cash. They got cash, yeah. So I'm going to have a debit entry. And I'm not going to do this for all of them, but you just come down here and, of course, put in your normal cash journal entry for the 8515. Um, what would be my credit then, JC? We got 8515. Why? Why did I get the money? Because they paid it on accounts receivable. Yeah, they paid off their account receivable. Very good. So I'm going to put a little number one over here to help us remember that this was the number one journal entry. Gift certificates outstanding. At the end of the year, we're all redeemed. Okay. So, uh, Paul, wh what am I going to do here? All of the gift certificates last year, they were all accounted for. And people got the service. It's like buying a Texas Roadhouse maybe gift certificate. You bought them in December and everybody used them now. Same thing here. So you would debit on the revenue for the 24 or 624. Mm, good. We no longer owe any service. Why? Why don't I owe anybody a service? It was used. Yeah, it was used. So what do we call that? Service revenue. Service revenue. I provided a service. Update your number here if it's different. 37,475. 37,475. An additional 37,475 worth of gifts, gift certificates were sold this year. Richard, what did I get? What did the business get? Revenue. No, I didn't get revenue. I sold gift certificates. That means I haven't sure. done my job yet. So what did the business get? Think of Texas Roadhouse. What does the Roadhouse get if you go and buy gift certificates? Cash. Huh? Cash. Cash, yeah. They got cash of $37,475. Trent, why did I get cash? What happened? What's my credit here? Yeah, and what do we call that? Not revenue, because I haven't done the job. Unearned. Unearned revenue. 37, 475. Now comes the hard stuff, 3B and 4. A portion of the above gift certificates were used. The remainder were still outstanding at the end of the year. Hmm. Brandon? Did you find the difference from the unearned service revenue in 17310? Yeah, good. What he's saying is, I sold gift certificates for this amount during the year, but at the end of the year, I only have this much left in gift certificates outstanding. So how many dollars worth of gift certificates did people actually come in and use? 20165 Thank you. $20,165 of gift certificates are no longer unearned. So would that be your debit in 3B? 
3B would be, yep, our debit for unearned revenue. My credit then would be to what, Ariana? If it's no longer, Ariana, look, if it's no longer unearned because people used their gift certificates, what do I call that when people actually have redeemed it? Huh? huh? Revenue. Revenue, yeah, good. Number four, services performed <coughs> for members were billed. I think number four is the hardest of them all. Services performed for members were billed. All right? So i got to think about this. Am I going to... I, I know what the total services are. 164000 Am I going to bill for 164000 That's the question. Why not? Why wouldn't I bill for all 164,000? Because only 2015. Uh, well, this is my 2015 total total revenue. You have the 13,610. Because some of it's already been paid. Yeah, some of it's already been paid out of the 164,000. Some of it's already been paid for. How much has already been paid for out of the 164000 $13,610? No. $44,809? Yeah. This amount. $44,000. What was it? $809. $809 has already been paid for. How, do I, how would you know that's already been paid for? How do you know that? in our service revenue. Yeah, it's, it's already been accounted for over here in the unearned revenue. It was unearned because somebody paid me and I just didn't provide the service. Now I have provided those services and those people paid me a long time ago. How much in services now are left that haven't been paid for? That's what I need to determine. Would you just subtract the 44,809 from the 164,456? Mm -hmm. Yep. 119,647. 119,647? Yes. That's how much is left that hasn't been already prepaid. These guys paid ahead of time, and we counted it as unearned revenue. The remainder people haven't paid me yet. And that's going to get me to my final total here of 164,000. Well, that's my that's my credit. So the services were done and it says I billed them. So what's the debit for this one then? receivable. I haven't gotten the money yet, but I did bill for 119647 Number five is very similar to 3B. The accounts receivable for 2015 were partially collected. Well, just off the, off the top, it doesn't give me much information. It says partially collected. How do I know what partially collected means? The difference in that one I 
19647 in the beginning balance, not 1316? Yeah, not the beginning balance, the ending. Or that's, that's what I meant. Yep. The difference, how did I get from 119 of people owing me throughout the year, and I billed them, <laughs> how did I get from 119 down to 13610 $106,037. Okay, so what, what did the business get? The business got cash. Cash. And I don't have room, but I'm going to squeeze it. 106. 106037. 037. Mm -hmm. If I debited the cash, what am I going to credit in this case? Accounts receivable. Good, accounts receivable. They no longer owe me because they paid it. I now have shown how I got from 119 minus the 106. I show how this 13,000, where it came from. So hopefully you can see with this one, if you did not prepare the journal, uh, the T accounts, I don't know how you would have completed it. Now again, this one is by far probably the hardest. The other ones aren't as bad. The only one that you may have a little difficulty with, and it's okay, I, I kind of want you to struggle a little bit with this one, because we haven't talked about it, but this will give you a good review and get ready for next week, is you're going to actually need to go into the book and I'll give you one other place that you can that you can use, but the book will probably be the most helpful. Is prepare the income statement. And if you if you just want to go to link to text, that's going to help you out even more. It takes you right to the income statement area. They say here's the adjusted trial balance, and now we can start preparing the income statement from the adjusted trial balance. And it shows you step by step how to do it. Revenues minus the expenses. Would you show that again, please? Show what? How did you get there? Right at the bottom of the of the problem. Scroll mm -hmm. to the bottom. Link to text. Okay. Takes you right to where the book talks about. Some of them have video. Some have videos. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mainly they're the problems. So like I go to problem 36A, and this one doesn't, but some of the some of the problems do, and it's not always just problems, it's, yeah. it's just hit and miss. There's one. I know the one. This You can't see it, I know very well, but video of a similar problem. They're going to help you go through 313 to figure out what exactly is going on here. So if you don't have any idea where to start, just go down here to the video, um, similar problem. I'll help you with this first one. I know you don't have it, but the first one has us record the accrued revenue. Record the accrued revenue. Okay, so that's telling me <clears throat> Here's my uh, my revenue. I've got two. I don't know if it's specified which one I'm doing. To record accrued revenue. Okay. It doesn't specify there, but where it does specify is we're talking about rent revenue. It appears that some of my rent revenue, my unearned rent revenue, it's saying before I did the adjusting entries, I started with 12,310. That's common stock. Oh, yeah, thank you. I started with 1503 in unearned rent revenue. And it says it's a credit balance under and rent revenue, credit balance of 1503. And after I've already done my adjustment, 
My new balance is 715. So how did I go from a positive 1503 down to 715? What, do you th what did I have to do? Yeah, I got to show. I went from a positive 1503 down to 715. So I debited how much? 788. 788. Let's see if that corresponds with my rent revenue. In rent revenue, <clears throat> I went from a credit balance of 10,970 up to 11,758. Obviously, I did something to go from 10,000 up to 11,000, and I'm pretty sh confident that it's going to just happen to be this amount. 788. So that's what I'm going to journal. I'm going to journal that I had a debit. Some people use their revenue, their rent. I no longer owe them rent, and I count it over here as a revenue. So when this one's all done, you're going to explain for any differences. Obviously, there's no difference for cash, so none of your journal entries better involve cash. Accounts receivable, there is a difference. And on one of those journal entries, you're going to explain why there is a difference. Just how I explain the difference in my rent revenue account and unearned rent revenue.